Um, Amina is the brainchild of Christian Ashaiku, who is the writer, director, producer. Um, this is our second film oh, okay. that we've done together. Our first film, which we shot uh, five years ago, was a film called Disorienting Generation. And we managed to secure the talents of one of Hollywood's biggest stars, Amitabha oh, Jalani. Yeah. Um, myself as co-lead, uh, Van Vicker. Ghana. Yeah. Um, as a co as well, and making a very special cameo appearance, um, but a valid one, yes. uh, is the great Vincent Regan. Should we wait for the others? They brought us here for war, didn't they? It's but Agamemnon's orders. Fight for me, you do us, Agamemnon. About the plot the, the... Uh, basically, the rough outline of the film is a story about a woman who, after a series of uh, traumatic, psychological and emotional um, events that have happened in her life, uh, she suffers a breakdown okay. and ends up in a mental institution. Okay. And um, assigned to that case is the reluctant but very brilliant, yes. I have to use the word brilliant, <laughs> uh, Dr. Johnson, okay. um, who, like Amina, but slightly differently, he's going through his own personal crisis. Crisis, you know, he's he's um, he's a he's an alcoholic. Um, he's had a bad situation with his wife. Uh, they're separated, and um, so when we meet Dr. Johnson, you know, he's not in a good space. But the first, the introduction to this character is a man drinking on the job. Oh wow! So that kind of tells me, you know, maybe literally, literally drinking on the job. Wow. So that tells you. Where his character is pitched, yes, yeah. he's a very troubled man. Every time he runs his office, he runs with friends. Yes, I got your list of John Doe's, thank you. Um, there is one of particular interest, the kid who was run over on the M11 in 82. A lot of the roles that you do are very compelling. For instance, your role in Waking the Dead as mm. D.I. Spencer and then as Marcus Kirby in Waterloo Road. They're yeah. very powerful roles. How do yeah. you channel that? Well, I'm a very powerful man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must admit, I never thought I'd be teaching in a place like this. There's so much emotion in there. Yeah, they are, they are, and and so is this one. I always get, I always get very, very passionate roles. Even, mm. even, even when I did uh, the comedy, uh, the hood, you know, yes, and, yeah. and uh, you know, Mike, you know, the sort of gangster, but again, it's a fiery. Role. You like pointing guns at little boys, do you? Hmm? Hey, Tyrone. Make you feel like a big man, does it? Oh, man, not a big man. No, 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 don't do that. He is your son. He is too young to have felt a woman's warmth. I have others to replace him. Astinos is as brave and ready as any. No younger than we were the first time you stood next to me in battle. Yeah. So, tell us how you got involved in this project. Well, um, I was at a social function and I bumped into Will, and Will had done a film with my wife way back when. Okay. And um, I uh, hadn't worked with Will, and we were just having a chat, and I asked what he was up to, and he says he was doing his own independent, low-budget film, and I said, well, if you need a hand in any, any way at all, and he said, yes, I do. I, I want you to come and play the psychiatrist, the head psychiatrist at the, um, at the mental institute. So, um, okay. That's what I'm doing here now. Fantastic. Mm. And how long have you been here? Oh, I'm only here for one day. Oh, wow. Just one day, they're going to shoot me out. Oh, today. goodness. So make yeah. sure everything gets done today. It has to be done today. <laughs>